shooting in Hot Springs have been identified as 19 and 22 year old sisters. Hey, hey, friends, we've been looking to see what happens like if you walk out of salon, what happens if you have issues. Let's look in today's video what happens when drama rises at the salon, and I'll be back to discuss. Police and witnesses say the sisters, along with their mother, went into that beauty supply store to confront a co-worker there. S excuse me, not a co-worker, just a worker there. Now two people are dead. One's on the run, and another one is in hiding. Three people went inside the store Wednesday, but only one came out. Hot Springs police confirm 19-year-old Mernea Myers and her sister, 22-year-old Monteria Myers, and their mother went into Simply Unique Hair Beauty Supply to confront one of the workers. They got in a fight with that employee. Witnesses say the worker was badly beaten, grabbed a gun, and shot at the women. One sister died at the scene, the other died at the hospital. Their mother got in a black car and drove off, as witnessed by multiple leaf shooter, was taken in for questioning but not arrested. Now those in the area say they worry about retaliation and are keeping quiet. They say the beauty shop worker and the owner have left the city for safety. And so that's definitely one of the reasons why I'm very cautious as a nail tech about taking on new clients. If I feel like something is a little off, I will not take the client. I will give them their deposit back and just go on to the next one. Or if they come in my space and I feel a little uncomfortable, I'm very hesitant about taking them again. I wanted to leave, but I needed my nails done bad. And this was the only place open. Well, only on Vox tonight, for the fourth time in a year, an unhappy customer contacts us about a nail salon in Friendswood that seems to charge extraordinarily high prices. Fox 26's Randy Wallace joining us live from the southwest side with this exclusive story. Randy. Yeah, Caroline, now the most recent unhappy customer to contact us paid $330 for a pedicure and a manicure. That includes a $65 surcharge for paying with a credit card. Hey, hi. Are, are you the owner? We want to talk. You want to talk to us? What's wrong? Why are you locking us out? We just want to ask you some questions. This time, my questions are about this young woman who asked not to be identified. We'll call her Grace. It's a lesson, but it's unfair. Just because that was cruel, a cruel thing to do. On Sunday, Grace went to Epic Nails, a.k.a. Helen's Nails, at 2110 El Dorado Boulevard. She got a manicure and a pedicure that she says usually costs her around 80 bucks. How much did you pay for that? 330 What do you think about that? I'm upset. Last November, this woman told us she and her young son were held captive at the nail salon after she disputed a $110 charge. She locked me in the building with my four-year-old child as he was crying, asking if we're going to go to jail because I called the police. This customer says the Epic Nail Salon owner charged her an extra $200 for calling the law on her. Last April, we told you about this woman who says she was charged almost $700 to have her toenails painted at Epic Nails. Then last July, we did a report with this customer who says the nail salon threatened her with litigation after posting a bad review. She kept her card. Yeah, she kept my card. She refused to give me my car back. Grace says she paid the $330 bill to get her ID back. When she got home, she researched Epic Nails in Friendswood. What did you think when you saw the prior stories? Uh, no, yeah, definitely. I was like, this is insane. I, I'm, I was glad that I wasn't the only one. Listen, I'm getting my nails done today, right? So I came in to get my pedicure. Now, y'all know. In the summertime, black folks, we kiss our little toenails a little longer because we wear sandals. And her right here, you want toe cut down? No. You want toe cut down? No. You want toe cut down? No. 
she gonna make me get my toes cut down. No, ma'am, you're not. Now she mad and then went over there and did her nails. And this sweet lady gonna do my nails. Why they think they could tell us what to do? Baby, she hot with me and get what? Auntie don't care nothing about it. Cause one thing about it and two things for sure. This my debit card that gonna swipe cross this little Rita up here. Girl, she's so mad, y'all. Why they want us to cut our toes down? You're not the only one that can have acrylic on your toe. Girl, look at her. Baby, she mad. <laughs> now, what you talking about? She talking about me bad. She probably say her fat self don't need them toenails that long. No way. Goodbye. Play because uh, if you want ticket, I pay, you pay more money. If you don't pay more money, so we show it for her. See, she, she can go anywhere. You no, we're not so good. We're gonna finish it. She got school tomorrow. Yeah, but if you if you want ticket, I want them done right. Yeah. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'm not so good. And it's not even cut even. So how do you want her to? This is not even right. Look at this. That's natural. Here we do it. If you want I've been here a million times, ma'am. I spent too much money in here. I used to sit right here. Right this man sit. That's the one that you sit down there. That's what we normally sit. So you have attitude because I'm just saying these are too thin. I don't see nobody know. It's just a tip. It, it, it's, it's too thin. Not gonna finish. You're not gonna finish. So if she wants or not. She wants, I want them just like I want them done correctly though. That's what I would like. I need to get out of here. This is paper thin. I know, I know I'm not crazy. I know I'm not crazy. Go ahead. Just go ahead. Come on. I'm like, you make me mad. Okay. Okay. Are you mad? Are you mad? Are Now, after watching these videos, I'm curious, have you ever been in a situation where you've been in a salon where drama popped off? Have you been the drama? What did you do? What happened? Would you stay? Would you run out? Girl, let's discuss. A lady that I didn't like the nails, you know, she instantly got into ghetto mode, right? So, mind you, like I said, I just came from work, so I got on my, my uniform. You know, I understand... You know, I've been in the service business, too, and she instantly gets offended. Don't compare nails to hair. Okay, boo-boo. Take it down a couple notches, but okay. So she says, well, you came in for something, so what do you want? I said, well, I would like you to do the, that nail over or give me a, some type of discount because it's not what I asked for. Um, in the salon is our me, my daughter... The owner, her customer, and the young lady and her customer. And so I'm just, I'm appalled because I can't believe she's being so nasty in front of a customer and in front of her boss. But okay, well, I guess it's not her boss because 
as a nail tech, sometimes you are an entrepreneur, so okay. But I just really was, I was, I was a little shook. I was a little shook, okay. So um, she's like, I'm not doing a nails over, and I'm not giving you a discount. Oh, okay. Mm, okay, baby. So at this point, I'm like, you know what? Let me get on up out of here because I just got off work. And I don't want that girl to come out of me from the west side of Chicago. So let me get on up out of here. Let me get up on up out of here. So as I'm leaving, I say, you know, and I'll, yeah, I got a smart mouth because, like I said, I'm from Chicago. So that, that, that smart mouth is a, is, is a given. Like, it comes with us. It, you know, when he package it up, they package up smart mouth with Chicago girls. So I say, you know what, let me get up out of here because I'm not from around here. And, yeah. So she instantly is like, I'm not from around here either. What's good? I'm from Humble Park. Oh, baby, that's where I'm my park. So what's happening? Don't let that this uniform fool you, nor don't... Uh, mm, okay. So at that point, she walks up. She's gotten out her seat. And she's like, you know, she ready to rumble. Oh, okay. So let me, let me do this right quick. So I'm like, dig this. I'm like, if you hit me, I'm going to walk your ass through here. Period, point blank. I'm walking your ass. So, at that point, she's all up on me. Now now the owner gets up. The owner steps in, in between, and this bitch swings. Oh, do you know I walked that bitch back from the front door to the back door and back again? And when I was done, unfortunately, my daughter was there. here to see this, but she needs to know her mama G. I let that bitch hair go. Uh, and dropped it on the floor. Hey, y'all. I legit just got my nails done on two and tell me who this fuck. And then I'm currently here arguing with them about my motherfucking nails because he trying to tell me that I broke them intentionally. No, baby. Today is Friday. I got my nails done on Tuesday. So, currently they're trying to figure out if they're going to charge me or not. I don't have a problem with paying, but I legitimately just got my nails done on Tuesday. And you tell me I'm missing two already? And they came off whole. And I had breaking hair for whatever, so. I don't know, y'all. I love this nail shop. It's my favorite nail shop. And I ain't never been through this. Like, they keep coming off. So I don't even know. And this shit ain't cheap. This shit has hell. So, y'all tell me what I should do in the comments. Now, after watching all these videos, this reminds me why I do not work in a shop, why I work alone with clients. At the same time, you're not without drama. You still have issues. Let me know in the comments below. Have you been in a situation where there's been drama? Here's your reminder to walk away. I had a 12 o'clock appointment to get my nails done. I show up to the nail tech. Now, I only request the same person on my hands, the same person on my feet. I make an appointment with them for 12 o'clock. I walk in at 12 o'clock, no one even says hello. I'm looking around, everybody is super focused, no problem. I said, hi, I have a 12 o'clock. They tell me to sign in on the monitor and have a seat. So I have a seat, five minutes go by, I'm not greeted at all. 10 minutes go by, I'm not greeted at all. 15 minutes go by and I'm still not greeted. That's when I say, um, hello, I'm trying to get an update on when my appointment is actually gonna start. Lady tells me she doesn't know. I said, well, I have a 12 o'clock appointment with the nail tech that I was supposed to have an appointment with. And they say, oh, she's out of town. I said, okay, why would y'all allow me to book an appointment with somebody who's not here? What, we, we didn't understand your accent. And I said, okay, no worries. Who's doing my nails and who's doing my feet? The lady said, I'll start removing your nails. So she starts plucking off my nails, very rough, like extremely rough with this silver tool, wasn't a soak off. And she's just picking and I'm telling her like, you're going to damage my nail bed. I don't like it. Let's soak them off or find an alternative because I do not like it. She continues to start picking. I said, okay, this isn't going to work. I do not like it. So then she says, well, then I'll do your pedicure. And I said, okay, who's doing my full set? And she just ignored me. So at this point, I am becoming increasingly frustrated and I'm sitting in the pedicure chair, haven't really been attended to having you know just simple how's your day going how can I help you what color do you want right no apologies that an appointment was booked with a person who's not even in town the list kind of continues and I'm sitting there and I'm like walk 
literally walk. Like I was texting my husband and he was like, why are you still there? And I was like, I don't know. Walk. And there's so much fear and anxiety around leaving situations that feel like I have to make that decision. I have a very professional meeting. And look at my hands. Look at my hands because she started taking them off. They look crazy. I got some fingernails on, some off, some purple, some clear. They look crazy. But I refuse to sit through and have a person who does not have energy that I'm messing with conduct a service on me. And you, you can't even as much as ask me as my, how my day is going or I'm supposed to pay for this $65, $70 service. I'm good. I too many nail techs. There's too many hairstylists, too many makeup artists for y'all to keep going through the same emotional uh, issues that y'all are going through with the people that you are paying to help you or to provide a service. So I'm no longer in the business of spending my money where I don't feel welcome. Uh, so. something wrong with you, you tell me, but don't do that. I'm vlogging, I'm not recording because you're doing something wrong. So I just won't be back here again. But she do something what wrong, you recall. We don't want to do that. We don't, don't, do don't, don't put your hands on me. No. Don't put your hands on me. No. You don't know me. Don't put your hands on me. No. Uh, yeah. yeah, you don't know me, baby. You don't know me at all. Don't put no, your hands on me. You say you no phone okay, in there. Okay, but don't put your Stop hands on me. Stop them service. Damn, you're just like really slow. I was vlogging. I'm clearly sure she know what vlogging is. Yeah, you're just old and slow. Don't put your hands on me. I promise you that. I promise you that, baby. Don't put your hands on me. Yeah. No, no more. Ever in your life. Oh, I got ever in your life. Put your hands on me. Okay. Ever in your motherfucking life. Put your hands on me. Mm. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate Thank you. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the nails, baby. You want something to let me know. Why you yeah. Thank you. All right, you guys. That's it for today's video. Be sure to get in the comments. Tell me which one of these stories had you shook. Tell me which one of these stories you can relate to. And until the next video, guys. Bye.